Hi everybody, my name is Drew Hines from HindsightImagery.com and today I am doing my first tutorial on how to make a minimalist image like this, what you see here. Um, this is great for photos that have kind of a busy background or you want to isolate the subject and just surround it with a lot of negative space. Uh, really draws your attention to the subject. Uh, I've seen a lot of other photographers do it and I really like the style. Um, so what we're going to do here is open up the original and this photo has already been processed through Lightroom um, so it's everything, all the colors, the levels, um, exposure, everything's all set. This is the way I like it. Um, so we're going to use some selection tools. We're going to use the quick selection tool over here which is a shortcut with the W key and we're also going to use this polygonal lasso tool. So first, we're just going to rough in a selection here. I'm going to zoom in. We're just going to do a rough selection. And this is Photoshop CC 2017. And this is my first time using it. I've noticed a couple new features, some different things that I wasn't used to after moving from Photoshop CS6. Um, and I'll show you one of the new things here. So here you can see it's kind of rough. These marching ants will outline your selection. Um, so you can cut this in a little bit. And so it's kind of rough, but what we'd like to do here is use this polygonal what you do is you hold down, it's typically default on the lasso tool, but we're going to go down to the polygonal. As you can see here, this is add selection, so we can, as we click, it will add parts to your selection. Just click around your subject. We're going to do kind of a quick quick outline of this. It doesn't need to be perfect for this tutorial. Um, but the more points you put in here, the less jagged it will be. And also if you if you double click within the selection, it'll automatically close your loop here. So it'll close that and add that to the selection. Around. Add this little piece in here. Part of her shoe here. So as you can see, it added this little spot here. So what we can do, you can either select the negative, there's a subtract space up here, or you can hold down your Alt key and click where you want to start, and now it will be subtracting from the selection. So you can let go of the Alt key as you, after you start, and it will continue to subtract. Same with down here, Alt, click, and then make your selection. And then this section here in between her legs you can use, you can try the selection and holding the Alt key. But as you can see, it's there's not enough contrast to differentiate there, so Command Z will undo. And we'll just go back to the lasso tool here and alt click to subtract. We'll just do a quick Quick deselect here. All right. So 
so that doesn't look too bad. You can you can make these little minor tweaks and make sure you get it dialed right in here, but for this tutorial's sake, we'll just use this. Now, one thing that's different from CS6 to the CC2017 is there's no refine edge selection up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the select and mask. And this has all the same things that refine edge used to have. Um, here it's got the view mode. A new one is this onion skin. Uh, onion skin. And you can change the transparency here so we can see the hair that we want to add in here. Um, so, and what we're going to do is we're going to use this refine edge brush here. And we're going to just brush over around where the hairs are missed. And it works really fast. So, there we have we selected all the hair. To see it better, we can just put it on the white. You can see, really grab the detail there. If you want to see it in high quality, you can click there. So that looks pretty good. So now what we can do is we can choose the output. And what we're going to do is create a new layer from this selection. And there it is. Now the next thing we're going to do is delete this background layer. So you double click and it asks you if you can rename it. But we're just going to delete it anyway. So we hit OK and go ahead and trash it. So here. We have our selection. We're going to add a new layer, bring it down below our subject. Then we're going to grab the paint bucket tool and you can pick any color here and just paint that background any color you'd like. Now let's position our subject where we'd like it. Kind of like it down in here. And that red is kind of cool. And another, another little trick here is you can use the hue and saturation adjustment level here. Add that. And then you can change the color of the background to be anything you'd like just by changing the hue. Kind of like that blue. Lower the saturation, lighten it up. So that's pretty much it. And if you want to add more negative space, use your crop tool. You can pull out whichever way you'd like. You can also set, pick any of these different ratios. We're going to do a 2 by 3 here, which is the original. So you can pull out and add a little bit more negative space. And when that happens, you end up with all this space that isn't colored. So Pressing the I, grab the ink dropper, and you can grab that color and drop it in. Of course, the hue and saturation is added to it. So what we can do is get rid of the hue saturation and just drop it on there on the red. And might as well just delete that. And there you have it. This is uh, how you do the minimalist photo. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. If you like what you see, give me a like. Hit the subscribe button. And um, yeah, and I'll make some more of these in the future. Thanks for watching.